Hey everybody, I am updating you again like on a grocery haul because every time I do it I'm starting to figure out what I like more and less of the hauls that I do because I want to keep it real with you guys. Some of the stuff's not tasty. Like for instance, I have not found a delicious dessert recipe that's keto yet even though I'm low carb I try a lot of keto recipes. But I do have like some dessert options still. I still like love this organic peanut butter that I get at Aldi's and this 85% chocolate that I get at Aldi's. I love this stuff. And I put whipped cream on that peanut butter, one tablespoon, put some whipped cream on it. This chocolate, put some whipped cream on it. To me, that's delicious. It's, it's a lot of time all I ever really need when I have a sweet tooth. Let me put this up. So my breakfast stuff, oh, hold up. Let me get my, uh, I gotta get some, sorry. So the bread I get, because I do eat like up to two pieces of bread a day if I choose to, is the sprouted, knock sprouts, knock your sprouts off. So I get the sprouted bread at Aldi's, and I don't get like the sodium free one, I just get the regular one, and I'm just going to read you what it says here, because all I do is count my carbs now. I, I have learned how to moderate my portion sizes. But now I just count my carbs. So the carbs here are 13 plus 2 fiber, which means 11 carbs. I try to stay between, by around 30 carbs a day, sometimes up to 40. And that keeps me right because I notice when I control my carbs, I'm able to lose weight. When I do all that other stuff, I'm not really. But I know I had to start off with counting my calories. And then I went to like watching my portion sizes and counting calories. Well, really, I started with portion size and counting calories. Then I was interested in this keto diet. I figured out I couldn't really do it. So then I went to um, a low carb diet. And now I just want to show you like this low carb diet slash keto thing that I do because I do a lot of keto recipes. It's so delicious. Like my family loves it. Let me make sure my speaker's on. Okay, it's on. So I just want to say get this bread and try to just eliminate rice, pasta, and other breads and noodles. Oh, I want to show you my noodles that I get too. <clears throat> okay. Okay, sorry about that. So, you know, if, if you have the sprouted bread and you have these bean noodles, they're organic, they have them at all these, you can still technically have noodles and bread. Just limited to two slices of bread a day, limited like one cup, what does it say here? Serving size is two ounces. It's 19 carbohydrates but 11 fiber, so you're really dealing with seven grams of fiber per two ounces. So if you just have a, you know, monitor your noodles, you should be good to go. They got it like, they're all spaghetti noodles, but they have three different flavors. One of them I don't have right now, but one is black lean, one is soy, the other one is soy or something too. It's greenish looking. This one's black, this one's like a beige. So check these out, like these are great. Like when you like, know you don't really wanna get rid of stuff, but you do wanna get rid of stuff. All right, so then, you know, I'm a coffee drinker. I do this every day, but I only do two cups of coffee now. I do my first cup of coffee with this, this MCT oil. I get this on Amazon. So this is my coffee. And I get whatever delicious flavor they have. Like this is maple. I get the seasonal stuff because I like to have good coffee. I use my uh, Irish butter. You can get all this stuff. You can get all the, unless I tell you it's from Amazon, like this right here. And then I use my cocoa, coconut oil. This is my first coffee. Okay. So then... When I have my second coffee, all I do is eliminate this because too much of this like gave me stomach problems. Then I do my coffee, this, and this, and then I add a little cinnamon, a little cocoa powder, a little stevia or erythritol, which is what I'm switching to, and that's my second little coffee. And it's, you know, like a nice coffee, like you feel satisfied, you're happy about it. So... That's my coffee. Then, you know, like I kind of have like two go-to breakfasts, but I really can have many different types of breakfasts. Like I can have egg and bacon every day, 
I'm just not that chick. Like, I will do it like if my husband wants to have egg and bacon, but it's not like what I need to be happy. A lot of times what I do is just yogurt. And I used to buy like the fresh berries, but frozen stuff's just as good. And now I buy these frozen because it goes bad. So I hate the frozen. I can just take a little bit out as I need it, you know, per week. I get the frozen blueberry, they're organic. I get the frozen strawberry, they're organic. I try to buy a majority of my stuff organic or at least like the best product that there is available within my budget. And work with your budget and, and the products you can afford because then you'll keep it up. All right. My other go-to breakfast is my bread, my Kerrygold butter, and uh, an avocado. Like Usually what I do is yogurt one week every day for breakfast. Avocados the next week for breakfast. That's just how I roll. All right. I'm trying to get rid of the stuff as I go over it. So this is what I buy every time I go to Aldi. I buy some type of meat. I prefer chicken thighs or chicken leg quarters. Um, I'm not that good at cooking chicken legs, so I don't really get it. But I'll get chicken wings. I do like uh, sausages. So we can do bratwurst. Any other sausage? There's a. I'm gonna make like shrimp and sausage here sometime this week. So like, you know, I'm getting the shrimp and the sausage. Uh, I'm, so I always get shrimp, I always get some type of chicken, I always get bacon, I'll get some kind of sausage if we don't have any. I buy like the big pack, so I don't necessarily buy it all the time. That's something that I always do. These are delicious, you know, these meals with the real good meats, that's what keeps the rest of your family happy that's not on the diet. So this week, I picked this up. At Aldi, it's rice cauliflower stuffing. So my husband's going to be gone during Thanksgiving, so I'm going to make this for him, like, probably the day before he leaves. Probably this Friday. And then I got a little turkey breast that I'm going to make with this. And then I'll just do, like, green beans, my frozen green beans. And I'll do, like, mashed potatoes for him, which I'm going to have zero of. And I'll do cauliflower rice for me. And then that's just, like... A real Thanksgiving meal still, if you know, because I'm choosing to do that and he'll enjoy it. Trust me, he ain't gonna complain. So sometimes I'm lazy, I don't have time to prepare a whole bunch of stuff, so I get these prepared beef burgers 100% pure beef. Like, I try to make sure it says stuff like if I don't get my good beef, my like organic beef that's grass fed, grass finished. Then I try to get beef that says, you know, like if it's pre, like prepared for me already, that says 100% pure beef. Like I don't want all those fillers in my body. Like I'm done with that life. Like I feel better when I eat pure whole food. And I highly recommend that you do it because it'll get you right too. I use this for my tacos, sloppy joes. And I get sloppy joe can at all these and it's not even that bad. Like I don't eat it, but I make it for my husband. Um, the kids like these. He likes this too. Like if I'm busy and I always cook every day and I really don't have time to cook a nice meal, I'll just cook burgers. Um, so a lot of times I get a salad. So I get spinach leaves, tomatoes, cucumbers, onion, green onion I prefer, but I get regular onions and stuff too. But when I don't want to have a salad, because I get tired of salads, then what I have that week then is carrots and, and celery. So this is like my salad substitute. Like this week when I was grocery shopping, I wasn't going to have a salad. I was burnt out on salad. So I'm going to have this this week. And I'll just nibble on it all the time. <clears throat> Every time I go shopping, I get frozen vegetables. I'll get greens, peas, broccoli, spring mix. I got it on the oven right now. Um, you know, the cauliflower, the carrots, and the broccoli, like that, that. Maybe it's a winter mix. I'm not for sure, but that mix, I get that. Um, I also get like stir fried vegetables that are frozen just because to, to make it better because you get bored. So I did not like the stevia at uh, Aldi. It just didn't taste good to me. So I'm switching over to erythritol and I get this on Amazon. And when I make like some sweet treats, hey Torsten, when I make some sweet treats, like I wanted to have some a brown sugar product. Especially like I'm going to go to Walmart and get that sugar-free barbecue sauce so I can tell you guys about it next week. But I like to add things to my barbecue sauce so I might be adding this and mustard and some lemon juice because, you know, I like to juice up my barbecue sauce because I like barbecue sauce a lot. 
And then I, so I've tried this sugar and I think it's way better than stevia. Definitely try this if you don't like the aftertaste of stevia. This, I haven't tried yet, but I'm going to try this monk sugar too, because it's supposed to be real good too. This I haven't tried yet either, but I'm going to try it with some baked goods and stuff. It's 75 fewer calories. It's Trivia brown sugar blend. So I just figured it's a better option because I'm still going to do cook certain things. Let me put these things up. Okay. Here's that cauliflower rice that I get all the time when I go shopping. I always get organic almond vanilla milk. I usually will get organic almond uh, non, you know, regular plain milk too. I always get water for the family. I get bored of water sometimes. You know, I always do my water with lemons and I cut up the wedges. I have some here. Keep them in the refrigerator every time I make a glass. I just squirt those in here and it, I really like the taste of it so it keeps me drinking five of these a day. This is 30 ounces. That's hard to do unless you really like water. And I, trust me, I didn't used to like water. But I see what it does for you so I'm down. So, and oh, and this I always put in my coffee too, like one tablespoon of this, just to keep it real. Okay, let me show you the snacks. Oh, let me show you my oil still, just in case you, I'm still sticking with this. Uh, extra virgin olive oil, I love it, I use this to cook. Uh, then I use this avocado oil for higher temperatures. I love it, I use it to cook. They're both like great products, I have zero problems. This is cold, cold pressed. Then I buy the ghee butter. I love it. I use it to cook too. And I always take a biotin, but that's just me. I'm, I like nice hair, nice skin, you know, so I, I buy a biotin. I got that off of Amazon, I think. Um, so I have that sprouted bread, and sometimes with the sprouted bread, or I'll just wrap these up and do wraps. I buy the, I like the pepperoni that's like has thin little dots of um, fat in it. There's one that's like more expensive and has bigger, but I don't like it. It, does, it messes up, it messes with my stomach. So I just buy this, this hard salami at all these. And I love Gouda cheese. I love this cheese too. But get whatever cheese you like. Oh, and here I got this, they have a special like smoked Gouda. Oh my God, this was delicious. So, you know, my family, they're not into all my exotic cheeses, so I just buy, I just try to buy a real product. This is real cheese, deluxe slices, American cheese. You know, it doesn't come individually packaged because it's a good product. So I just put this in a Ziploc bag and put it in the refrigerator. Everybody loves it. They make their sandwiches with that. So this is what my husband loves to snack on, these snack sticks, but I can snack on them too. I just prefer these pepperoni hard salami snack sticks. And I've tried all the little hard salami things at all these. This is the one I, I like the best. So I haven't tried this yet, but these beef jerkies aren't that bad. And it's something that I got for my husband and for me, but we still have to try these so I can vouch for it. And then, of course, I do the almond. Oven roasted almond. Oven roasted. Uh, I... They had macadamia, but it had other crap in it. But they have, like, in the organic section, a real good uh, nut blend, which I'll show you guys. But I just need to finish all the nuts that I have before I buy any more. And I buy sunflower seeds. I buy a lot of seeds. I buy a lot of nuts. I snack on that stuff a lot. Um, my son loves these pork rinds. They're great. This is, has more artificial things in it. This doesn't, you know, do whatever it is you like. I, uh... I crunched this up and made it with my meatloaf. I made meatloaf last week. Everybody loved it. Like, so trust me, you're gonna put things in to substitute for bread and they'll be just even more delicious. This is better than bread to me than the meatloaf. Okay, so when I get bored of lemon water, I buy a lot of these. Um, they're not like pure or anything. They have like artificial flavor and if you don't you're not done with that don't do this but it has you know zero carbs i got the berry flavor i get like the grape flavor i get the lemon lime flavor and i use them in my little mixed drinks and i'm going to tell you about that here in a minute too so i just got this it's a rosé and rosé wine is uh well when it's dry rosé it's perfect for low carb and keto and stuff but it's not that delicious but you know like I guess after you drink it a couple times, you get used to it. But I had it the other day, 
and it wasn't that bad. I mean, I thought it was okay. So, I, I mean, I could do this. I like my wine, so I gotta make it work. So sometimes I won't, I'll use this and just make a, spread this cheese and my Kerrygold butter on a slice of bread. Now that might be my breakfast if I don't want avocados or um, yogurt. And then I love brie cheese. This brie cheese is awesome. I get it at all these two. But what I really want to show you guys is I'm going to try these cauliflower crackers. Like these are not the best, but I think these are a better option for children. So I've got a lot of kids in my house and I want to give them better food. The carbohydrates are 18, the fiber is 2, so that's 16 grams of carbohydrates. First, four servings per container, so I feel like that's a lot. Serving size is 44 crackers. So that's like a lot of crackers for, what is it, uh, 16 grams? I don't know, I just thought it might be better choices for my kids, so that's what I'm rocking with. I'm not buying those stupid crackers no more. Okay, so I'm going to sh share with you guys, you know, I like to drink wine, I like to have a drink. So I'm going to show you my new little drink thing that I make. I'm not going to actually make one, I'm just going to tell you about it. Okay, so I put two ice cubes in here. Like, definitely get one of these, these things are awesome. I put two ice cubes in there, I put one, two squirts of this. This is orange tangerine. tangerine. Highly recommend it. Tastes great. It's got like zero calories. I mean, it's got artificial stuff in it, so if you're like a purist, don't buy this. But I'm, I want to be, but I'm not in every area of my life, and I just admit to it, and I'm fine with that. But yeah, carbohydrate zero. So I squirt that in, two of that, three to two ice cubes, like one half a lemon or a whole lemon, depending on what you like, or lime, because lemon, limes, strawberries are fine for us. Um, then I put one shot. Okay, so this is what I do. I take my erythritol, a, a half a cup of that, and I put it in a pot. And then I take one cup of water and I boil it. And then I use that for my drinks when I make drinks so that I have my drinks sweetened, like my daiquiri, classic daiquiri drinks that I make, because this is what this is. These are all classic daiquiri drinks. You just do them with different liqueurs. And then I put it in a container, put it up, and I'll take one cup of like my sugar water that I make with my erythmetol, which I should show you since it's part of my drink making. So it's one half part this, one part water, whatever part, however, whatever quantity you want. And it tastes great. Like I've tried it, trust me. So I'll make my, I call it sugar water. You can call it whatever you want to call it. I'll put one shot of that in there, one shot of this. I mean, if you're a heavy drinker, two shots. I put one shot of this little bubbly water. I usually do the lemon lime, lime lemon, or I don't know. It's the green one. Put one shot of that in there. Two squirts of this orange. One lemon or a half a lemon or one lime or a half a lime or a combination of lemon and lime. I, I love lemon, so I do lemon. Then I shake it up. Then I put it in my cup. And then I'll top it off with some bubble water. And that's like, I call it a zero calorie drink. I use, uh, right now I'm using Puerto Rico, about uh, Puerto Vallarta tequila because we've been to Puerto Vallarta and I don't know, I like tequila. But you could do like these same drinks like with, um, with vodka, with um, whatever your drink is. Like I, I will do rum, vodka, or tequila. Like those are the three liquors that I like. I don't really like a lot of other liquors. Like I'm not a whiskey chick or any of that other stuff, but you can do whatever. And you can do combinations of this and different flavors of this to get the drinks that you like. But this is like how I drink drinks at home when I want to have a drink besides a glass of wine. Because if I'm really going to be low carb, the only wine I should be drinking is rosé wine. And it's so dry. I don't like it that much. Okay. So, <clears throat> that's my little how I make a drink thing. I just wanted to show you guys because you have to like entertain all areas of your life in order for something to be successful. So, I was just wanted to share that with you. I don't know where that thing is. Okay, wherever. Oh, it's right here in front of my face. Sorry. This is what happens when you're 40. Okay. So, I wanted to update you on my progress. And um, I'm super excited because I'm doing great. But I'm still living my life. I still celebrate. I still go out. Like last week, 
didn't even come to you last week because I didn't want to weigh myself last week because it was Veterans Day. So I'm a veteran. On Veterans Day, I go enjoy all my free meals. I get meals for my family, bring them home, went out for breakfast with my husband, went out to Applebee's with my mom. You know, like, I, this is a planned thing that I do every year. I'm still going to do it even though I, I live this lifestyle now because it's, it's something I enjoy doing and I have fun doing it and I have great company when I do it. So, I, needless to say, it was Veterans Day. I wasn't on my diet all that day. Then the next day, I had to go to work. The day after that, like I had wrestle and some other stuff going on. Oh, and I was doing reefs with everybody, so I was like really busy. And then Thursday, I think I had my grandbabies. And then Friday, I had a paint night. And then Saturday, you know, I work on the weekends, I went to work. So I was like, I'm not even gonna post this week. I got too much stuff going on. Plus I cheated and I don't wanna weigh myself. I just wanna be good the rest of the week. And that's what I did. I was just good the rest of the week. But even being good the rest of the week, like when I went to my paint night, they had food there that I didn't really eat, but what, what I liked of it, I wouldn't let myself enjoy. Like, I love chicken wings, so I had some chicken wings that they had there. They had meatballs. I can have meatballs, so I had meatballs there. You know, it probably wasn't like sugar-free barbecue sauce or anything, but I'm not that strict on my sauces like how other people might be. So I let myself enjoy things because I enjoy it in moderation. So really, it wasn't like a bad week because I always go, like I always go back the next day or the very next meal to how I should be eating, even when I don't, uh, I'm not practicing it at, at a great level all, all the time. So needless to say, you know, I started out at 178. Two weeks ago, I was at 157. And it's hard, like, when you get closer to the weight that you should naturally be to, to lose weight. So I had that crazy Veterans Day. You know, the week before I went out with my girlfriend, like, I'm always doing something during every single week that's for myself with somebody else where I'm not 100% strict on my diet. So, uh, I weigh 156 now. I did my measurements. I'm going to show you guys how I do my measurements. So, you can do it too if you choose to. So, sorry, I hate to show you guys this, but I put it right here at the very bottom of my chest. And that's my first measurement. I go all the way around. And when I did that, I was 32, which is the same I was the week, the last time I, I measured myself. I normally only measure myself like once a month. I weigh myself once a week on Tuesdays. Then my other measurement is where my belly button is. So my belly button's right here. So then I put it right where my belly button is and I go all the way around. And that was 32. So last time I measured myself, that was 33. And then the next place that I measure is like, where I think like the biggest part of my butt is, and I go around there and measure my thighs. So I measure in three spots. Because I'm concerned about my core. Because, hey baby, because I know if I take care of my core, that's gonna make me the healthiest. And a lot of the stuff that I'm doing with my diet isn't necessary because I wanna lose weight. Yes, I wanna be at a, a weight that's appropriate for me. I did wanna lose 20 pounds, I'm there already. But I also want to be healthy. That's why I'm doing a lot of organic, non-GMO stuff. You know, uh, grass-fed things. Like, I want to get the right nutrition in my body without having to take a bunch of supplements. And then the thigh was 43, which before was 44. So, again, I lost two inches. Like, one inch in one area and one inch in another area. And I'm down to 156. I only lost one pound. But since that one... Since... I only lost that one pound. I've lost two inches on my body, though. So I just wanted to share that with you. And then, uh, you know, I I monitor my steps. I try to do 10,000 steps a week. I monitor my sleep. I try to get seven hours of sleep. And I take in the, out, the pounds I weigh, the ounces in water. So I weigh 156. And I drink about five of these. Five times three is 150. So I, I drink about 150 ounces of water a day. Um, I was going to, again, like go over my sleeping goal and my step goal to let you guys realize it's a goal. I don't always need it. I just monitor it and try to be, be good to that goal. So let me go to my Fitbit app because that's how I do it with my Fitbit. Ooh, I hope I'm not running out of time here because you know I can only videotape for 30 minutes. Okay. So I think it has the update. So I just always want to encourage people like monitor your sleep, monitor your steps, monitor your water intake. Start with that. If you don't change anything else in your life, do that. Replace all your drinks with water products or healthier versions of like your 
going out drinks or you know like I don't do soda but I will do this um, just switch it up if you switch up your drinks you'll be so much happier hey baby girl so I might have to oh lord Jesus let me get my baby I'm just gonna have to do the rest with my baby come here girl Come right back when she's happy. Are you good? Are you okay now? Oh, you okay now? Oh, no, no. I don't know. Are you gonna be all right? Can we finish this up? I don't know. So I'm just letting my Fitbit like uh, update because I haven't done it in a while because I'm a slacker, obviously. Okay, perfect. So last week, 11:10. I don't know what day that was. Uh, I don't know. On that day, I, I did 9,528 steps. So my goal is 10,000. That's pretty close. I'm happy with that. I don't have a problem with that. Then the next one, um, so that was Sunday. So then on Monday, Monday is when I get off my weekend option and I work midnights. I'm not very active on Monday. I only did 5,380 steps. Thanks for helping me, girl. And then on two, on Wednesday, no, Tuesday, I did 10,000 and 48 steps, so I met my goal. Wednesday, 11,163, I met my goal. Uh-oh, oh shoot, it went away. Okay, and then on Thursday, 9,093, almost met my goal, I'm just seven steps off. So, like, that's fine with me. And then on Friday, 13,897, because I had that party, I was moving around a lot, I had a set up and, you know, all kinds of stuff. So, surpassed my goal again. Saturday, 10, 8, 3, 4. So 10,000 steps reached again. Sometimes I reach it all the time. Sometimes I don't. It's a goal. Just keep working on your goal. Let me tell you guys how I've been sleeping because I really fight with my sleep. Okay. Ooh, wait, I don't... Okay. So I'll just tell you what I've done this week so far. So on Sunday, because I sleep Sunday mornings because I work midnights. Five hours and eight minutes, which is great for me being at work. I like to get like six hours of sleep at work, but sometimes I can't. Then when I came home on Monday, I slept for four hours and 22 minutes. Uh, I sleep in the morning. So then when I went to sleep on uh, Monday night and slept until Tuesday morning, that's nine hours and 35. But it's like I always sleep more on Tuesdays because I got to get ready for the week. Then on Wednesday... Well, actually, last night, because the babies were here, six hours and five minutes. But this, this baby keeps me up sometimes. So, you know, uh, uh, that's what happens. So that's just like this week. Like, I did pretty good this week, actually. I'm super duper happy with it. But, you know, like, I only really met my goal once. But my goal is still to get seven hours of sleep. So, oh, you're just you're drooling. Here's my baby. So, you know, just keep up with it. Monitor your sleep. You're not going to lose weight unless you're sleeping right. Uh, monitor your steps, measure yourself, and weigh yourself. I measure myself once a month. I weigh myself every Tuesday morning before I do anything. The first thing in the morning, I pee and I weigh, and that's it. And I don't do any more than that. And then, um, sorry, you know, I, I did yoga twice this week already. I try to do something three times a week, and I do like uh, burpees, squats, and uh, planks also when I'm not doing yoga. And that just takes like 15 minutes of my time and the yoga takes like 30. And I just do better when I don't do exercise for long periods of time and I just do 15 to 30 minutes a day. And normally I try to do it five to three times a week depending on like what's going on. And sometimes I just can't get it done. But I don't beat myself up over it. I just try to eat right because that's 80, 90% of it. And the other exercise is only 10%, but I like to be lean and I don't want to be flabby, so that's why I always try to do something. So, you know, I just want to encourage you, like, hang in there. Start with your water, your steps, and your sleep number. Then go to, like, changing things in your diet. I highly recommend whole foods. Any diet you want to be on is fine, but don't make it a diet. Make it like a lifestyle change because you'll be more successful. I've been doing this since April, and I haven't fell off yet. I mean, I have little cheap meals or whatever, but that's part of life. Like, I wouldn't expect to be doing something that where I don't have cheap meals. I don't even monitor my calorie intake anymore. All I monitor is my carbs. Because I have learned I'm the kind of person that gains weight when I eat too many carbs. That's why I don't even eat potatoes. I don't eat rice. I don't eat noodles. 
and I only eat sprouted bread. So hang in there, do what you gotta do. I wish you the best of luck in your journey. I don't necessarily do this just to lose weight. I do this. To